Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the repeater component in Salesforce ScreenFlow. So the repeater components allow us to repeat a set of fields in a Salesforce ScreenFlow. So it is a relatively new feature added to the Salesforce ScreenFlows. And in this video, we are going to learn about what is the repeater component and how we can use a repeater component in the Salesforce ScreenFlow. So let's move ahead and first see what is the repeater component in Salesforce. So first of all, what is a repeater component? So the repeater component allow us to dynamically display the multiple records or data points in a list grid or a card format. And that's all within a screen flow. And this is really helpful when you want to use it to create a series of items like uh, a list of tasks or opportunity or other object records. So it basically multiply a list of field in the same screen flow. For example, you have to create multiple opportunities. So for again and again, you have to run a single screen flow. But with the help of repeater component, you can add multiple opportunities with the same fields. So I've already created a screen flow with the embedded repeater component in that. So let me show you how it looks like. And then we will see the process how to add the repeater component in the screen flow. So this is the screen flow in which I have already added the repeater component. And now I will show you how it looks like when you add a repeater component to a screen flow. So for that, I will open this flow in the debug window. And in the debug window, you can see this is the fields that are required to create an opportunity record. And for example, you have to create multiple opportunity records with a sing within a single screen flow. So what we can do here is we can click on this add button and you can see another set of fields is created here. So when I will enter the fields in both of these components, it will create two opportunity records. And in the same manner, you can add multiple components of field with the help of repeater component. So, so this is how a repeater component work in a screen flow. And there is also an option to remove the component with the help of remove button, you can remove it. So let's move ahead and see how we can add a repeater component to the screen flow. So as of now, I'm in my Salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the flows tab. So for that, go to the quick find box and here search and select flows. And now in the flows setup windows, we have to click on the new flow button. And now select the option start from scratch. And now we are going to add the repeater component to the screen flow. So we will select the option screen flow and then click on the create. So now we can see the flow canvas on our screen. And now in this example, I'm going to create so in this example, I'm going to create opportunity records with the help of this screen flow. So for that, so for that, I will first add a screen where we will enter the opportunity details. So for that, click on the plus icon and then select a screen. So first enter the details of the screen component. So I will label it as opportunity details and the API name. So after this, we have to add the fields that are required to create opportunity record. So the first one is going to be a text field that that will take the opportunity name. So here it is text field. I will drag it here. This is going to be the opportunity name. And the next field is going to be a date field that will be the close date of opportunity. And now I'm going to add a pick list field that will display the opportunity stages. So for that, we have to enter the label in the API name. And after entering the label in the API name, scroll down to the choice section and here click on new choice resource. So the resource type is going to be the Pick list choice set and the API name will be and the object is going to be the opportunity opportunity stage and the data type is pick list here and the field is so the object here is going to be the opportunity only and the field here is going to be the stage name so after this we have to click on the done button so as of now we have added the fields that are required to create an opportunity record so after this, we have to add the repeater component to this screen. And now we will add the repeater component. So for that, go to this component section and here search and select repeater. And now I will drag the repeater component to the screen. And let me place all the fields within the repeater component. So the fields, those are added within the repeater component. Only, only those fields will be repeated. So as of now, I have added all the fields within the repeater component. And here we have to enter the API name of the repeater component. So I will enter the API name as repeat fields, repeat field set. And after entering the API name, we have to click on the done button. So the repeater component will give output as a collection of opportunity field values that it, that it contains. 
so we need to add a loop element to loop through the output and then use the assignment element to assign the values to an opportunity record that is available so here we need to add a loop element to loop through the output and then use an assignment element to assign the values to an opportunity record variable so for that first we will add a loop element so here we have to enter the label in the api name and after entering the label in the api name we have to enter the collection variable the collection variable is going to be the so for that first we have to click on the name of the screen component and then it will show the name of repeater component so here select that and at last click on all items so now we need to create two new resources for the single and the collection record variables that we are going to use in the assignment element so to add the new resource element click on this toggle bar and here click on the new resource so here select the resource type as variable and the api name here i am entering as opportunity record variable and the data type here is going to be the record and the object we will select here is opportunity and then click on done now another resource element that is going to that is going to be for the collection so here the variable is again going to be the variable so the api name i am going to enter here is opportunity collection variable and the data type is going here to be the record and the object is opportunity object so the resources that we have created is essential for the assignment so the because the records that we are going to create with the help of repeater components are going to be in the form of a list because it's not going to be a single record so for that we need this resource that we will use in the assignment for that we will need so for that we will need this resource that we are going to use in the assignment element and after, and at last click on the done button and in the collection variable don't forget to activate the checkbox allow multiple values and it and after this click on the done button and after adding the loop element we will add the assignment element to the flow and after adding the loop element we will add the assignment element to the flow so for that click on the plus icon and click on assignment element here we have to enter the label and the api name for the assignment so in the assignment element we have to map the variables with the values so here we are going to use this single and the collection variables that we have created so we will map it like record variable name so the value is going to be the repeater component and then opportunity name and in the same way we are going to add the another variable that is the close date so it will be single variable close date so for the date also we are again going to add the loop through the repeater and the close date and the last field is opportunity stage so for that again we are going to select the single record variable stage equals to then again we will go to the loop and then select a stage name so now after adding the fields for the single record variable we are going to add a collection variable so so for that click on the variable and here this time we will select the collection variable and the operator here is going to be the add because it is going to be a set of records and uh, with this collection variable we can add multiple opportunity records within a single screen flow so this collection is variable is going to add all the records from the multiple repeater components so the value of the repeater component is going to be the single record variable after and at last we have to add the create records component to the flow so for that click on the plus icon and here select create records and again i have to enter the label and the api name and in the how to set record field values we have to select the multiple option and in the record collection select opportunity collection variable that we have created so as of now our flow is completed now we will save the flow so i will enter the flow name as opportunity with repeater element and then after entering the flow label in the flow api name click on the save button and now we will debug the flow and in the debug window click on the run button and you can see these are the opportunity fields that are required to create opportunity record and here as we click on the add button you will see the another set of fields of opportunity records 
is appearing on the screen so now i will enter the required details so this is the test case so i have entered the opportunity record names according to that and after entering the field details of the opportunity records i will click on the next button here i am going to create two opportunity records with the help of repeater component within a single screen flow so as i click on the next button you can see the result that opportunity record is created so now i will go back to the developer console and from here i will navigate to the opportunities tab so in the opportunity tab list view you can see this is these are the opportunity records that we have created right now with the screen flow using the repeater component so this is how you can use so this is how you can use the repeater component in salesforce screen flows and create multiple records within a single flow interview so this was all about the use case of repeater component in salesforce screen flow so i hope by now you have understood about the repeater components and its use in the salesforce screen flow and if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye